This is the first Apple logo with um, a British person, Isaac Newton, waiting for an apple to fall on his head. It's not used for very long. <laughs> this is the next Apple logo, but it's not until Apple gets rid of that gay flag that Apple get really big. But how about the bite? Where does the bite come from? It might come from Alan Turing. Alan Turing is the progenitor of computer science. And it's through the work of Alan Turing that the British managed to crack the German Enigma code. And when I'm performing in Germany, at this, uh, at this uh, position, at this place of the performance, I'm always tempted uh, to say a certain thing, especially to the Germans, but I've stopped saying it because uh, it never uh, receives the desired reaction, which would be laughter, uh, because I think it's funny, but the Germans don't think it's funny. Try so, it, try sorry. It, try it. Um. <laughs> sorry. You're not German? No. No, you're, you're, you're British Polish? Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, because in, in Poland, uh, if I'm telling them what I would have told the Germans, the, the Poles laugh. Uh, but they also say, there was also a... Uh, I'm not going to do the Polish accent. But they also say uh, that there was also a team of Polish code breakers, uh, uh, which is true. Uh, But where does the bite come from? It might come from Alan Turing. Alan Turing is the progenitor <laughs> of uh, computer science. <laughs> and uh, it was through the work of Alan Turing that the British managed to crack the German Enigma code. Bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> According to Churchill, that's how they won the war. <laughs> Maybe forgetting that there were other parties involved in winning that war, like you know, a few million Russians, for instance. Um, in any case, Apple say that nothing about their name or logo has anything to do with Alan Turing. So who was it then who bit into the Apple? Apple? Maybe it was Snow White. <laughs> but then Apple would get trouble with Disney, although you as a sophisticated European audience know that Snow White was invented here in Germany. So the only remaining possibility is Adam and Eve. And if Adam and Eve had been alive today, they would have been hungry for information technology. But God would say, don't touch that. Get an android. <laughs> because God would be working for Google. 